after downloading the plugin from the Epic Games Launcher, enable it to animation warping. So first, um, this is from the Paragon um, animation features. You can watch this video to uh, know more, uh, to learn more about it. The animation warping, orientation warping, and speed warping. So I'll uh, begin with a demonstration. So I don't know if the if the video is la lagging. Uh, it might be because of the recording, because of the hardware, but it's I'm not having any luck in the game right now. So just like this, uh, you will, uh, your body, your uh, feet, your legs will move according to the speed. If you go faster, it will be faster, the animation. If you go slower, animation will be slower. Also, your um, character's legs will turn in the direction when you are giving the input. And the pivots um, are fine. So let's get into it. Um, this is a setup. There's a there's this uh, locomotion state machine just at the beginning. But first, uh, to use this, you have to make sure that your um, animation has the I key uh, foot left and right bone setup in the animation. I'll show you the difference. This is one of uh, animations from Marketplace. Uh, you need forward, left, back and right for animations. Uh, so you can see that foot, IK foot bones are moving with the, with the leg. I'll show you another example. This is the third person and they are just standing, they are not connected to the leg, so it won't work. So make sure that your animation has this. Uh, the, the marketplace animations have done like mad stuff this is from Kuwalt or Rico. Uh, these are all have this, or some other. Uh, Sword and shield. They all have this. So make sure uh, the difference. Um, in the locomotion machine, I set it up like this. There are four main states and idle in between. Let's check one of them. You just uh, put your animation here. And there are two, uh, three in three animation nodes, skeletal nodes from this plugin: speed warping, orientation warping, and head compensation. Speed warping. Uh, this is what it does is basically. I'll show you like this. Speed warping is um,
split wrapping is changing the split wrapping is changing the um, the leg stretch length like this or like this. If you go slower, it will be like this, and you can you can see. And this is for the debug purposes. So when using this, just put this to zero and uh, set your animation to uh, the base speed. For example, if your uh, moving speed is 600, then if you make this 300 at, at the full moving speed, it will behave like this. And at 150, it will behave like this. So this is just for debug. And uh, there's also another thing to notice. Uh, there's two axes, alpha x uh, and y. So as a rule of thumb, if you go to forward, make it zero one. And if you're going to the to the side, make this one zero. You can make any value in between. What it does is it just affects the direction. So you can play with these values to match them better with your animation. Um, and yeah, don't forget to put this to zero after you are done with debugging. Forwards uh, to to set up this, we will choose the choose it like this pelvis IK foot 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 left right here pelvis here and uh, the stiffness value changes the resistance uh, pelvis applies so the the rate of uh, movement of pelvis it will uh, move more or less due to this value. This is the uh, length, uh, length, leg length. So to use this uh, speed warping node, you have to connect this, this uh, uses two, two one IK, one for each uh, leg. Speed warping is uh, from this plugin and 21ik is from the engine so you choose the left foot foot calf this is the joint target and also again ik foot you uh, set up like this you can just check how it uh, sets it up and do the same. You should change the joint target accordingly. So if, if you're this uh, uh, 1 IK not so if your uh, if your leg is moving like this, uh, if your knee is going to twist in that direction, just push push it a bit uh, in this direction to let the system know where to in which direction to twist to avoid awkward uh, twists so this is the same but right so this will complete the speed warping part there is the orientation warping you will just choose the route and you will choose the movement direction uh, there are uh, four directions uh, we are not using idle currently and we are going to use this direction node and um, after that there is a head compensation this will uh, let your character look uh, in the direction you are facing all the time so it will be more realistic and there is a, a interpolation here you can uh, play with this
basically if it's uh, less it will uh, rotate slower and vice versa so this is the forwards you will just put the input direction you can this can be uh, this get direction from the original movement of the character but I'm not I'm instead using the input direction that I'm calculating just for the multiplayer purpose so if you're going to use this for um, single player just get the direction and hook it up like that it will be saving you some calculations because otherwise multiplayer won't be there will be a stutter during the multiplayer if you are uh, if you are using the if you are going to use the control rotation you I'm not using it but you can just use this and just hook up the get direction from the movement for the single player. I'll use a whole different system for the multiplayer because um, control rotation yaw is causing stutter during multiplayer. So this is the forward, left, they're all same. One thing to notice this axis, this one zero in the forward, this is zero one. Idle is just the idle animation, and uh, these states, this if speed is smaller. So I will just quickly show how I uh, set it up. You can always use a different setup like you can uh, blend them with a enumeration blend node but i prefer to use it like that because i have more control over the over the angles so notice how this is not 135 but it's 130 there's a 10 degrees tolerance to avoid stutter. So you can also play with these as these are blends. You can change these blend values. Or you can change anything like the way of planning. Just play with it, make it uh, comfortable for yourself. And after you set everything up, uh, all you have to do is copy this system and just change. For example, I will show it with the main stuff animation one more time. So it will be very convenient. For now, I'm not. I'm not just. Yeah, I have idle of my stuff too. So I'll just put it. So I'll I'll change the animations completely. And it will um, work well with the foot IK. This is uh, also another plugin of mine.
Um, so next, I'll just put the change them again. Um, so this is the state machine. And um, yeah, if you're doing this for single player, for direction, just as I said, just get the get direction and hook it and use the control rotation yoke. But I'm not using it like that, and I'll show you how to do it with the with the uh, multiplier. So uh, I'm using the event tick in the character blueprint and checking uh, if it's locally controlled. And uh, this is basically I'm basically calculating. This is this is the this is a random uh, static function. Get input direction in degrees. This comes also with this uh, plugin. Let's you'll just keep give the uh, forward axis, the axis value, and the right axis value, and it will calculate the input angle. This is the uh, same as the direction, but direction gives you the value from the character and I'm giving the value from the input like this and always uh, from the locally controlled client or server. And um, I'll just, this branch is useless. I'll just Hook it up like this. There's a server and a multiplayer. So uh, multicast and server cast. I'll just um, just you can just copy this this will solve the your uh, rotation problem uh, the the use controller your stutter problem with the multiplayer the system and uh, to make the orientation uh, less stuttering during multiplayer I'm getting this input angle and I'm um, setting the input direction you can you can put a delay here if you're not very comfortable with a, a multiplayer replicated event tick it's not very healthy but it's working good it's the only solution for the multiplayer uh, rotation without stutter with the controller job um, so yeah Yeah, I think I'm done. Thank you.